Here at Brennan, our divers perform various tasks to ensure the integrity of several types of river-based infrastructure, including dams, bridges, and barge terminals. One of these tasks is underwater welding. I spent a day on the Mississippi with some of our divers to learn about how this process works and the ins and outs of their unique jobs. This project took place in Genoa, Wisconsin on a cold February day. Adam took some time to explain the project to me. We're doing uh, welding some sacrificial anodes to some uh, <clears throat> cells out on the river uh, to help mitigate the deterioration of the steel. How does this seemingly dangerous method work? The process is similar to that of a topside weld, but instead of being exposed to dry air, a gas bubble forms around the weld when it is underwater, preventing the electricity and water from coming into direct contact. However, the underwater environment also introduces challenges of its own. Uh, one of the most difficult parts is uh, welding blind when it's zero visibility. The welds react different to elevation, water temp, um, diver positioning just with currents. Uh, if you're working on bottom, if you're working mid-water, there's different body positionings. Lack of visibility causes the divers to make adjustments to ensure they're getting a good weld. And with the welding itself, you just kind of get in good habits, you know, of uh, you know your speed, the sound of it. It's all by feel. Um, you have to set yourself up in good position. You finish the weld. After that, you you break it open. You feel it. Each diver said the key to a good weld is practice. You have to play with it and practice, and it's not something that you just jump right into and you're able to do it. But you got to learn the hard way, and it takes time. But once you get it down, it's kind of easier though. Adam, Blake, and John encourage divers that are interested in a career in underwater welding to learn how to weld topside first. It's a lot easier to teach a welder how to dive than it is to teach a diver how to weld. Although underwater welding is very safe overall, there are risks including electrocution and decompression sickness. To prevent these, specific safety measures are taken on site. A diver will wear rubber gloves, usually two sets of them, um, reverse polarities and in your welder and just checking, making sure everything checks out, testing everything before you get in the water with it. Despite the risk, the unique nature of the job offers something others can't. Favorite part about it is every job's different. You get the crew together, load up, go out to the job, um, assess the situation and go down and weld them up. 